consider a triangle PQR with sides 25, 39 and 56 units. How do we find the area of this triangle? We don't have the height or the base, but we have been given the lengths of all three sides. Since we've been given only the lengths of the sides, we know we have to use the Heron's formula and to use the formula, we need the semi-perimeter of the triangle. Let's zoom out and find the semi-perimeter which is S. The perimeter will be 25 plus 39 plus 56, the sum of all three sides. And the semi-perimeter will be the perimeter divided by 2. This sum equals 120. The semi-perimeter will be 120 by 2 which equals 60 units. We have found the semi-perimeter. But how do we use the Heron's formula? How do we find the area of triangle PQR? The area of triangle PQR will equal square root of S multiplied by S minus A multiplied by S minus B multiplied by S minus C where A, B and C are the three sides of the triangle. In this case, S is 60, A can be 25, B 39 and C 56 units. We just need to be a little careful with the calculations here as the numbers when multiplied get really big. The area would equal square root of 60 multiplied by 60 minus 25 multiplied by 60 minus 39 multiplied by 60 minus 56. That will equal square root of 60 multiplied by 60 minus 25 is 35 multiplied by 60 minus 39 is 21 multiplied by 60 minus 56 is 4. Think about the product of these numbers. It will be massive. The worst thing you could do here is multiply these numbers to find the product. In our videos based on square roots, we had seen that if the number is big, we should use the prime factorization method to find the square root. And to use the prime factorization method, we have to reduce all the numbers to their prime factors. Let's look at the number 60 to start off. 60 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. 35 can be written as 5 multiplied by 7. 21 can be written as 3 multiplied by 7. And 4 can be written as 2 times 2. The next step in the prime factorization method was to start making groups of two same numbers. There are four twos. They can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. Apart from that, there are two threes. We can write it as 3 times 3. Two fives written as 5 times 5 and two sevens as 7 times 7. To get the square root of these numbers, we pick one number from each pair, multiply them and remove the square root sign. It will equal 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. That gives us 420 square units. The formula is pretty simple. It is just the calculations we need to be careful about. Another important thing you need to remember here is the units of the answer. The units of area are always in squared terms. Think about the other formula of the area of the triangle. It's half base multiplied by height. In this formula, it's easy to understand the units as units of base and height are multiplied to get squared units. But how do we get squared units here? Look at the formula carefully. Four lengths are multiplied. So the units would be square root of units raised to 4. That gives us units squared, which is the same as squared units. <laughs>